I have always been intrigued by marbling, like the look of marbling that I see on patterns and things like that. So I wanted to figure out how I could do marbling on my cardstock. And I figured it out and you don't need to go buy anything because you have exactly what you need to do your own marbled backgrounds. Pinky promise, let me show you. So in doing my research, I saw a lot of people use alcohol inks to do marbling. So I thought I'd give it a try. And to be honest, I didn't like it, but I'm gonna show you the results I got using this. This is just regular room temperature water straight out of my sink in a piece of Tupperware that I'll never use for food again. <laughs> and then I'm just going ahead and dropping in a couple of different colors of alcohol ink into the water. Again, this is just regular room temperature water. And I'm gonna use regular cardstock and Yupo paper to show you the difference. So this is regular cardstock first. I guess I have kind of a marble look, but there's a lot of blobs left on that cardstock. So I'm gonna try Yupo paper this time, which is a specialty paper. It kind of has like this plasticky film over the top and it's designed to use with alcohol inks probably not alcohol inks and water but let's just see what happens i'm just going to sit it right there on top and see what happens when it picks up yeah it's you know it's okay but as soon as i touch it some of it comes off so we need to wait and let that dry and see what happens but the way that i like to do marbling is with fingernail polish so this is a tub of warm water complete opposite of what i did with the alcohol inks it is warm water and this is some fingernail polish i stole from my daughter's room she just went back to school today so she'll never know i borrowed it and then this is regular cardstock so i'm going to go ahead and dip it in and i got a really good look here i love how this this works so again it's got to be warm water and what happens is i'm no scientist i'm no smart person but this is what i think happens when you drop your fingernail polish in it kind of creates this film almost like, like i could pick it up with my finger and it'd be this goopy film so once you add your fingernail polish in there as long as it's warm water and then dip your paper or whatever your vessel is that you're using, it's gonna pick all of that up. Now I have done this exact technique with mugs and I made my own marble dipped mugs. I will link to the description in the video below. It's an old video, but the technique still works. It's just fingernail polish and warm water. I mean, this is like the cheapest way ever to get some really cool looks. So I'm just gonna to continue to drop in various colors of polish. Um, this time I tried to swirl it with my straw, but you can't do that because it will pick up all the goop in the straw. So don't mix it, don't swirl it, don't do anything. Just add your fingernail polish, dip in your cardstock. You can dip in the whole piece of paper, half a piece of paper, whatever. I'm switching between regular cardstock and Yupo paper because I had already pre-cut it uh, when I was gonna use the alcohol inks, but then decided I don't like the alcohol ink look. Uh, so here I am again, just add colors. It doesn't matter. They really don't even mix together. It's pretty cool to watch it in the water. And uh, here I am. I'm going to go in with two colors, like in from the side. And look at where that purple come from. I don't know, but it's pretty stinking cool. So I'm going to set all this stuff off to the side to dry. And once it's dry, I'll come back on camera and show you the results. I'm going to do one more final flick of the water. <laughs> I mean, of the fingernail polish into the water. And then I'm just going to pick all that up. Look at it just comes right up. Now again, if you try to stir it, it's gonna turn into a goopy mess. Don't do that. Just dip whatever you're using, whether it's a mug, whether it's paper, whatever, pick it up and it just transfers to your paper beautifully. All right, so I'm gonna use my Harry Potter wand and we're gonna dry all this right now and take a look. Poof, everything is dry. Here are the first two that I did with the alcohol ink. They are actually quite cool once they have dried. <laughs> this is regular cardstock and this is Yupo. However, I noticed that it comes right up on my finger with the Yupo paper. Oh, let me try the cardstock, the dry hand. A lot's coming off on the Yupo side, not a lot's coming up on the cardstock side, and this is with the alcohol inks. Okay, now let's look at the ones that we did with fingernail polish. So this is uh, fingernail polish, nothing's coming off. Does give it a little bit of shine from the polish. This is regular cardstock. This is Yupo paper with their fingernail polish. Nothing's coming off. So cool. This looks like something you would see <laughs> under a microscope if you worked in the infectious disease department. <laughs> this is also regular cardstock. Nah. Nah. this isn't doing a thing for me. Um, this one's kind of cool. I like to flip on both sides because when you dip your paper into the, the tub of water with the fingernail polish, you actually get both sides. This is Sijupo. 
This is pretty cool. I mean, I can already tell I prefer the Yupo paper over the cardstock, but if you don't have Yupo paper, or you don't wanna buy specialty paper, which I can certainly understand. Um, I just happen to have Yupo. Um, I, I mean, use your regular cardstock. This is so cool, right? Nothing's coming off. This is regular cardstock. This even had a little blob here of texture. Oh, I remember, wait a minute. These are the two that I went in and went like that. Super cool. And then here's the last one. So we have marbling with alcohol ink, Yupo paper cardstock. Let me raise my camera. Yupo paper cardstock. This is all regular cardstock. And then here we are with the Yupo. Yupo is my favorite. Oh. Um, so there is everything. There is marbling galore using water. You can either try alcohol inks or fingernail polish. I can take all these backgrounds now and turn them into cards. Now I might die cut some things. I might like, I don't really particularly care for this one very much. So I might just die cut a word. Maybe I'll save this for a video. Maybe my next, that's what I'll do. My next video will be what the heck do I do with all this? I can do that in the next video. If I get enough comments and thumbs up, that will be my very next video. So yay, I've got a plan. So I hope you enjoyed today's video on marbling using what you've already got. This will make some fun backgrounds, I promise. How do I know? Because I'm going to do it in the next video. I'll see you then.